Now we'll use classtools.net and we'll be building these games all in one shot in the arcade generator. So let's get started. I'm going to search for class tools. Click on class tools. And the website is classtools.net. And I'm going to go to the arcade game generator. Under quiz title, I'll call it Moodle Arcade. Here's the instructions. Type the titles of your quiz in the box above. Input your questions and answers in the box below. Separate each question from its answer with an asterisk. So this is the, the form you have to use. So it's question, star, and answer. Start each question on a fresh line. You can see a sample layout here. What is 2 plus 2? Star, the answer is 4. What is the capital city of England? Uh, asterisk, and the answer is London. So I've already prepared a list of questions here. I'll just copy it, control C, and I'll paste it here. And under here I'll select none, and I'll select OK. It's prompting me to select a password. I'll just say um, Moodle, I guess. Moodle. And I'll say OK. Your quiz has been saved. It will now be reloaded at its new address. Please make a note of this unique URL by copying it from the address bar. OK. And here it is. And here you can copy this, or I like to use this one. Share this quiz. And get the embed code. I'll set the to medium. Select all, control A, control C to copy. Back to our course. Go to add a game. And here's a quick question. How do we add content to the course main page? And if you said add a resource, insert a label, you're correct. And I'll copy the embed code. And here we see our game. I'll click here for the larger version. And here we're brought to the HTML page. And I'll start with the flashcard game. So here's the answer. The standard interface that most users will manage files in Moodle allows you to upload their files from their oops, it's a bit too long. And the answer is file picker. An online discussion site where people can hold conversations for and post messages. The answer is four. Collaborative dictionary where students can add lists of definitions to a list of topic keywords. It's glossary. Graphical interface allowing users to create HTML code much like a word processor. It's an HTML editor. So students will go through the fast flashcards first to learn the new terms. Then I'd suggest using a game like Word Shoot or Matching Pairs. I can quickly show you Matching Pairs. HTML editor. HTML. 
graphical interface allowing users to create HTML like a word. <laughs> now I'll show you word shoot. Word of the War of the Words. Earth is being tagged. Can you save it? The game is simple. Definitions will appear at the bottom of the screen. Use your mouth to shoot the word which it describes. Your score reflects the time left on the clock at the end of the round. However, there's Animo, and let's just click start. Click here to start. Shows this link on the course main page that displays HTML like a web browser. HTML editor? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, that would be... Compose the web page. Self-marking test module in Moodle. That's a quiz. Code that allows objects like YouTube videos, mind maps, and classical nets to be added to a website. That's um, embed. File uploaded to Moodle by a teacher with instructions for student. Graphical interface allow users to create HTML code much like a word processor. A website allowing users to upload and share videos online. YouTube? Oh no! <laughs> well, I didn't do so well in that game. But as you can see, it's fun, and after two or three times through these games, the students will have a very solid knowledge and understanding of the course topics. And there it is. I'll see you in the next episode.